Hey, have you struggled to fix your flat feet all your life? Well, today I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this. Hi, I'm Vincent from Upright Health, where we help you think right, move right, and feel right. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the description box below for helpful links to our do-it-yourself programs. So the exercise in question is the arch raise. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I'm gonna to explain to you why its proper execution is crucial to fixing your flat feet. So to perform this exercise, you've got three key points. Number one is, as you lift yourself off the floor like so, you're trying to move your Achilles tendon out this way. So it's like you're trying to roll your ankle out this way as you lift your foot. Key point number two is, as you roll your ankle out, you're trying to keep the big toe mound on the floor as much as is possible. So you've got your ankle rolling out one way and you've got your forefoot rolling in the other way. All right, so that's two key points so far. The third key point is, as you come up on your heels, try not to grip the floor with your toes. Your toes will be somewhat active, but they shouldn't be trying to scrunch the ground like this as you lift your heel because that will get in the way of getting that pure big toe mound bend that is essential to this exercise. So to understand how this exercise helps, Let's review the conditions of success of a strong and stable foot. Among those conditions are a vertical Achilles tendon when seen from behind the ankle and two, a foot tripod. So if you have flat feet, then your Achilles tendon when seen from behind is probably going to be angled inward. And in this exercise, we're training your ability to roll your ankle out, moving that Achilles tendon from that inward pointing position to an outward pointing position. Outward so that you now have the range to get it right back in the center when you need it to be there. But if that's all you have, if you're only able to roll your ankle out to get your Achilles tendon to be vertical, without changing the rest of your foot, then you've got this big toe mound that's off the floor and that's not a very stable foot either. And that's where the second key point of this exercise comes in, which is intend to press the big toe mound onto the floor even as you are rolling your ankle outwards. What this does is it reinforces your ability to create that foot tripod position while you maintain a vertical Achilles tendon. Lastly, the third key point, you need to be able to keep your toes relatively relaxed compared to what the rest of your foot is doing because if your toes are stuck in this death grip mode, then when you raise your heel off the floor, you're not gonna be able to keep your big toe mound pushing into the floor, right? Your toes need to relax in order for you to get that big toe mound pressing into the floor, creating that foot tripod that we want. So now that you understand the three key points of this exercise and the why behind them, if you're having trouble performing this exercise exactly the way that I'm showing it to you, then feel free to modify this exercise. For example, if you're having trouble staying balanced and that's really throwing off your ability to get at the three key points, then maybe stand at a wall. Maybe hold onto a stick as you're performing it. Maybe Take a wider stance. Do what you need to do to get the three key points. Now you may be wondering how many sets, how many reps of this exercise should I do? The answer to that is it depends. Right? What does it depend on? It depends on what does it take for you to be able to get a training effect from this exercise. That means if this is your first day and you really need to slow down your reps to feel the right stuff happening and you're only able to get five total reps because of that, that's totally fine. Do five super, super, super slow reps. Do what you need to do to, to feel like something has changed after you've done the exercise. Perhaps in a month after you're, you're more used to this exercise and you're just using it for, for your warmups for maybe after your lifting sessions and you're able to pump out, let's say 30 reps and they're all pretty quick and, and you like it that way and you feel like that gives you a training effect as opposed to the five super slow reps that you started with, then do that. The principle here is do what you need to do to get a training effect from this exercise. So that does it for this exercise. If you'd like to learn a stretch that pairs super, 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 super well with this exercise for the purpose of fixing your flat feet, 
click the link. And if you found the video helpful overall, be sure to click the like button. Share it with anyone else you know who may also find it helpful. Comment, subscribe, and as always, remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.